Some of us have very, very tight shoulders and might not even realize it. And a good way to check that is when you bring your arms into what is called neutral, some of us might think it's external rotation. So the elbow pit, not the joint, is facing forward and the hand is hanging. And if you see that your arms aren't hanging straight down by your side and they do this little peek out to the side thing, you might have more tension in your shoulders than you realize. So one good way to start to work on that is to come down into a hands and knees position. And when you're in your hands and knees position, you'd like your shoulder, your elbow, and your wrist to, to be in one line. Sometimes I see this happening where the arms are much further in, in front of the shoulders. And that might be the place you can get to at this point, but you are working towards getting the hands underneath. And then your working also towards keeping the palm flat on the ground. So I'll see that the palm will go into a cupping motion as if something could run, like little cockroaches running under your hands. I think you wanna smoosh those cockroaches and spread your fingers nice and wide. And then see if your arms can rotate in and out and your hands can stay still. And do that a few times and that should really come from the shoulder joint. And then you're holding the armpit facing the same direction as that middle finger. So if I were to bend my elbows at this point, the elbows go towards the thighs and not out to the side so you don't resemble a little bulldog, a little French, cute French bulldog, of course. But you wanna scooch those elbows around in here. And then keep those elbows slightly bent and the shoulders above the wrists. And that's a position where you can start to work on getting the hand tension, the wrists and the arms to be properly aligned. And then to work on the stretch part, take the elbows down to where the wrists just were, palms towards the sky, thumbs to the ground, and shift the hips back till you find a point where your thumbs are starting to come up and away from the ground. So ideally, the thumb and the wrist stay on the ground and everything in this position stays lined up right through the middle finger. And then you shift back where you can sustain the thumbs on the ground or the thumbs, if they weren't there to begin with, that they don't float further up and away from the ground. And then you stay there and breathe for as long as you possibly can.